energy and power are undoubtedly essential for the development of any country. Be it households or industries, energy is the foundation that supports the socio-economic fabric of society. However, energy generation has been a long-standing threat to the environment and this has posed a new challenge to the world. As a result, the search for a green source of energy has become a new quest for the world. While there are solutions available in the form of solar, hydro and wind power, nuclear power is also an option that is clean and cost-effective. The Indian government appears determined to use it more extensively to reduce its dependence on coal and lignite and to counter the cost limitations of other sources. This can be seen from various initiatives. Now let's examine the Modi government's approach towards nuclear energy. Namaste and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Sabita Mishra. Let's begin with the video report. During his speech in the Rajya Sabha, the Union Minister of State for Atomic Energy, Dr. Jitendra Singh, stated that the country's nuclear power capacity has seen a significant increase after 2014. Since Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister of India, the central government's policies have proven effective in enhancing the nation's nuclear capabilities. In his statement, the minister also provided statistics on the growth of nuclear power generation capacity and its impact. According to the data presented by him on the floor of the House, India's nuclear power capacity has increased by 30-40% in past 8.5 years. In 2013-2014, India's annual nuclear power generation capacity was 35,333 million units, which has risen to 47,112 million units in 2021-2022. Regarding the nuclear reactors in the country, he further stated that there were only 22 nuclear reactors until 2017. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, the cabinet gave permission to construct 11 new indigenous pressurized heavy water reactors with a combined capacity of 7000 megawatts. To achieve this goal, the Indian government allocated Rs 1.05 lakh crores. Furthermore, he also mentioned the groundbreaking decision to open up the space department for private players. Joint ventures with public sector undertakings to enhance India's nuclear program were also permitted. Following a decision to this effect in 2015, the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited is currently working on two joint ventures, one with the National Thermal Power Corporation Limited and the other with Indian Oil Corporation Limited. Dr. Jitendra Singh also informed the upper house that the previous nuclear reactors were located in the southern part of India, Maharashtra or Gujarat. However, the current Modi government is planning to expand it across India. To illustrate this, he cited the example of the Gorakhpur nuclear power plant in the Gorakhpur district of Haryana, which will become operational in the near future. In reply to another question, he answered that the world's first thorium-based nuclear plant, Bhavani, which will be entirely indigenous and using uranium-233, is being set up in Kalpakam, Tamil Nadu. India has made significant progress in the energy sector in recent years with a focus on renewable energy sources such as solar power. Despite the growth of solar energy, the country still heavily relies on the traditional sources like coal and lignite for its power generation needs. Currently, only 1.7% of India's power requirements are met through nuclear sources. Despite this low percentage, there has been a noticeable increase in electricity generation capacity from nuclear power rising over 30%. As the country continues to shift towards renewable energy, the use of solar power is becoming increasingly accessible to the general population, resulting in a decrease in the share of the nuclear power in the country's energy mix, dropping from 3.2% to 1.7%. However, it is expected that once the threshold of solar expansion has been reached, the use of coal and lignite will be replaced by nuclear energy increasing the share of nuclear power in India's energy basket. Despite a decrease in the share of nuclear power in India's energy mix due to the country's focus on renewable sources energy, like solar power, there has been a remarkable increase in the electricity generation capacity from nuclear sources. As renewable energy sector continues to grow, the use of nuclear power is expected to increase, making it a crucial component of India's energy portfolio. As India is becoming more nuclear in its power generation capacity, it becomes important to understand the benefits of nuclear energy. First and most significant advantage of nuclear energy over other fossil fuels is its direct carbon neutrality. It does not produce greenhouse gas emission such as methane and carbon dioxide. 
According to reports, the average emissions for nuclear power generation are 29 tons of carbon dioxide per gigawatt hour, while it is 1054 tons per gigawatt hours for lignite and 888 tons per gigawatt hour for coal. Even when compared to renewable sources, it produces fewer emissions than the most used solar energy. The carbon dioxide emissions in power generation through solar energy are 85 tons per gigawatt hour. Secondly, it is not intermittent, meaning that unlike solar and wind energy, which depend on the intensity of light and the speed of wind, respectively, the nuclear power generation process is less prone to interruption. A nuclear power plant can run continuously without interruption or maintenance, making it a more reliable source of energy. Lastly, the most important benefit is its cost effectiveness. According to estimates, the cost of nuclear power generation is cheaper than most other conventional processes. Despite the costs of managing radioactive fuel and its disposal, a nuclear power plant costs 33 to 50 percent less than a coal plant and 20 to 25 percent less than a gas combined cycle power plant. In addition to the low running cost, the energy produced from nuclear sources is also superior to most other forms. According to studies by the US Department of Energy, 2 gigawatt of coal or 3 to 4 gigawatt of other renewable based power plants would be required to replace a 1 gigawatt nuclear power plant and generate the same amount of electricity. The only disadvantages of nuclear power are its proneness to disaster, nuclear waste and the high cost of building a plant. These can be effectively managed with strong policies as demonstrated by countries like France. With as many as 440 nuclear reactors, 32 countries of the world generate 10% of world's electricity through nuclear energy. Specifically, the top generators of nuclear power is the United States with a capacity of 91.5 gigawatt. France follows closely behind with a capacity of 61.3 gigawatt, which accounts for almost 70% of its electricity requirements. 17% of France's power is generated through recycled nuclear fuel. China, Japan and Russia are also significant producers of nuclear power with capacities of 50.8 gigawatt, 31.7 gigawatt and 29.6 gigawatt respectively. South Korea has a capacity of 24.5 gigawatt while Canada and Ukraine both have a capacity of around 13 gigawatt. India does not hold a place in the top 10 countries for nuclear power generation. However, India is the seventh largest in terms of number of nuclear reactors with a combined capacity of 6795 megawatt as of 2021. This capacity has increased steadily over the years from 4301 megawatt energy in 2012 to 5218 megawatt energy in 2013, 6150 megawatt energy in 2016 and ultimately to 6,795 in 2021. In this capacity, India generated 39,758 gigawatt hours of electricity in 2021. In 2004, the goal for nuclear power generation was set at 20 gigawatt energy by 2020. However, in June 2009, the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited revised the goal to 60 gigawatt energy by 2032. This target was reaffirmed in 2010, but later the parliament was informed that more achievable targets were 14,600 megawatt energy by 2020 and 2021 and 27,500 megawatt energy by 2032. In March 2018, it was revealed that the government's goal of 63 gigawatt energy in nuclear capacity outlined in the 12th five-year plan for 2012 to 2017 would not be met. The total nuclear capacity was estimated to reach 22.5 gigawatt energy by 2031, which would require a 231% increase in nuclear power generation capacity in the next nine years. In 2005, India signed the 123 agreements with the US under the Indo-US Civil Nuclear Deal. This agreement allowed India to trade in nuclear materials without being a member of the Nuclear Suppliers Group. India also signed the Indo-French Cooperation on the peaceful use of nuclear energy in 2008, which opened up opportunities for the sale of French-made nuclear reactors to India. Despite the special waiver granted by the Indo-US Civil Nuclear Deal and the Indo-French cooperation on peaceful use of nuclear energy, previous governments were reluctant to increase the number of nuclear reactors in India. However, the current government is taking steps to make India's power generation 
more environmentally friendly with a special emphasis on nuclear power. In November 2022, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change released a revised long-term low carbon strategy that includes a goal to triple India's nuclear power generation capacity by 2032. In further support of this goal, the government of India has recently signed a trilateral cooperation initiative with France and the United Arab Emirates. This group named the Rafael Group aims to advance cooperation in the energy sector, particularly in the areas of solar and nuclear energy. Nuclear power plays a crucial role in the growth and advancement of a nation. as the world shifts away from the non-renewable fossil fuels due to their negative impact on the environment and climate nuclear energy is seen as a promising alternative nuclear power is not only more cost effective than fossil fuels but it also serves as a cleaner energy source that does not release harmful pollutants into the atmosphere india is taking initiatives to augment its use of nuclear energy with a plan to add 11 new reactors to its existing facilities Once these reactors are in operation, India will have a total of 33 reactors, placing it in the fifth position globally alongside Japan. The increase in the number of reactors will result in a proportional increase in the power generation capacity, enabling the country to meet its increasing energy demands in a more efficient manner.